Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market update of the NASDAQ 100 index. In the uh, last uh, April update we were looking for the market to pull back after becoming quite extended from the top end of the cloud. We were looking for a pullback towards the top end of the cloud. We were targeting the top end of the cloud here as well as the bottom end of the cloud. That market correction then took place. The market uh, did try and rebound from the bottom in the cloud here only to dip below that level and rebound from the old highs here and this cloud chart standard line and the uh, cloud chart support zone here at 17,000 so then the market had a strong rebound broke through the bottom in the cloud again managed to rebound from that level and then now we're fighting the top end of the cloud chart resistance zone it will be interesting to see if the earnings season is going to help drive the market beyond this resistance zone now the top end of the cloud here is a key resistance zone so we need to see a breakout past that zone for the market to really be back in ultra bullish territory but so far so good nice little correction in the market after becoming extended uh, very close to the Fibonacci retracement between 23.6 and 38.2 within that uh, retracement zone so market a nice little healthy correction uh, on a daily Ichimoku cloud now the net next thing to look out for is a breakout past this zone because we had nice some nice swing trades from this bottom end cloud chart rebound to the upside of the market let's just take a look at the uh, week on the weekly uh, we could see back in the beginning of April we were highlighting that the market was quite extended from the uh, top end of the front end of the cloud and look how quickly that uh, consolidation came very aggressive consolidation and then the market rebounded from this front end cloud chart support zone so now we're heading back up to old high resistance once again a little bit extended from the market but will be interesting to see if we get a breakout on that daily to be back in bullish territory so far so still bullish on the daily a weekly Chimoku cloud now interestingly enough this the uh, upward uh, continuation pattern here that's now complete and now it might be setting up for the next leg up all will be be determined by a healthy earnings season and forward guidance so that's the weekly chart there watch out for the old highs to become new resistance now let's take a look at the four hour index chart let me just refresh the data there we go you can see how aggressive this correction came every time we bounced off the uh, top end of the cloud was nice entry points in the uh, in in the index and now slice through the bottom in the cloud after testing it in quite volatile sessions on the four hour taps opened rebounded from this old cloud chart support zone and you can also see how that cloud chart support zone came into play for a support zone there and then a gap up broke past the top end of the cloud and now fighting that resistance zone there let's take a look at that resistance zone there so that zone there, 18113, is a resistance zone on the 4 hour Ichimoku. Will be interesting to see if we get a breakout past that to retest these old highs on the 4 hour. If we break past that resistance zone, the next target will be 183. The top end there at 18353, and then this old higher. So these are the two upside targets if we break past this resistance if the resistance holds downside consolidation risk would be the first stop yeah would be this line projected across would be retested and then the bottom end of the front end of the cloud yeah both these zones yeah these are also key support zones on the four hour chart so if resistance holds yeah, at 18113 quite possible for the market to go back down to test 17.890 and then rebound from this uh, top in 17.723 zone and then continue the rally from there but so far back above the top end of the cloud which is bullish on the four hour the daily we're looking for that breakout past that resistance zone so we can see that resistance zone comes both from the daily and the four hour as a critical resistance zone so we need to see a breakout past uh, past that zone uh, for the market uh, to continue the current rally if not then there's downside risk to the bottom end of the front end of the cloud yeah back down to that zone there let me just put that zone in there back down so there so these are the ranges 17800 is the support zone within the cloud 
This top end cloud chart resistance zone there, that's the other one to watch out for. We need to see a breakout past that top end cloud chart resistance zone. So this 18.113 and 18.173 is upside resistance zones. So we need to see a breakout past that. If breakout fails, then the downside target would be 17.801 in a sell-off. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.